South Africa's Iwamanzi Game Reserves are home to a variety of animal species that attract tourists from around the world, many for the thrill to kill. Stan Baja is a professional hunter. He offers tourists guided safaris through Iwamanzi and charges between $500 to $4,000 to hunt different types of game. Elephants, lions and leopards attract a special prize on request. We found a herd of uh, a bachelor herd of impala males uh, and we the wind was fortunately in our favor and we we did a stalk on them there was uh, some intervening bush between us and the impala uh, they looked at us a couple of times but we were by keeping dead still we were able to get quite close to them within about 50 yards um, this one exposed himself and I managed to get the hunter onto the sticks and he shot a very good shot a clean shot Broke the impala's spine and put him down with one shot. Trophy hunting has drawn criticism from animal conservationists around the world, but advocates of the activity argue that controlled hunting protects wildlife. This is because owners have a financial incentive to deter poachers, conserve stock and cultivate a prey base. South Africa's hunting industry was worth $765 million in 2014 and employs around 100,000 people. As far as international and local hunters are concerned, it's an economic contribution of about 10 billion rand. And then you look at the wildlife industry with more than 10,000 game farms. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a huge contribution to our GDP. Around 11 African countries have issued hunting permits, but hunting advocates say the industry could be threatened if the United States imposes permit limits on the import of lion trophies. The International Fund for Animal Welfare said the U.S. government should ban trophy imports and list lions as an endangered species. There's been so much awareness and people around the world have all said enough. Um, in fact, if you picked up Australia last Friday, um, actually banned the importation of all trophy uh, permits, line trophy permits and body parts. That was a huge monumental decision and we're working on getting the rest of the world to follow suit, which will actually cut down the whole canned hunting industry because what is the point of hunting if you can't take your bits and pieces out of the country? Tanzania's hunting industry is smaller than South Africa's, but it remains a popular destination. The government there collects about $11 million per year in fees and charges 15000 for an elephant killed and 4900 for a lion. Tanzania allows up to 100 elephants to be shot each year. Its neighbor Kenya banned hunting in the 1970s to curb poaching and hunting lobbies to say it hurt conservation. Game numbers, however, have declined due to a growing bushmeat culture and human encroachment on animal habitats. Selassie Karone, CCTV.